In this video tutorial, we will show you how to create Autotext files based off web materials. Here we found very interesting sample phrases by Helen in the forum, and you can transfer them by highlighting the phrases here with the short forms, then copy it to the clipboard, then open an empty notepad document and paste the contents, and then save the file as a plain text file, wherever you like, preferably on the desktop. Okay, let's call it test. We can close the windows and here's a text file containing all these items. Now open the Phrase Express main program window and drag this text file into the main program window and select create phrases for each line of the text file, which does just that. And now Phrase Express tries to automatically determine the auto text, the separator char, which is the equal sign and the actual phrase, as you can see here. If it doesn't fit to the actual sequence, you can change it here. So you can turn it the other way around. So the phrase contents would be the short form and the, the longer text would be the auto text, but it doesn't make sense here. So in this case, Phrase Express guessed it right and it also guessed the delimiter properly. Okay, then just hit OK and Phrase Express imported the phrases for you and now you can use them. You can optionally add additional options here because if we take this example, UTZ for example, and if I try it here, UTZ, uh, by default, Phrase Express would expand the phrase if you hit any default trailing delimiter, as you can see in the pop up. It would be space, enter, or any punctuation mark. So if I hit space, the phrase would be immediately expanded. So there are options to change this uh, default behavior. And so you would need to highlight the containing folder to edit all phrases in one go. And then you would need to switch to expert mode. Then we can define that we don't want any uh, trailing delimiter. And we would like to apply this to all items contained in the folder. And you may want to have a manual confirmation so it, the short form will not be expanded automatically. And this would result in this behavior. So you type the last character and you get a suggestion what will be expanded. And the default confirmation character is uh, tab and you see it's expanded. And now uh, we can make additional changes. You have the menu of confirmation activated here. And with the right mouse click, you can change the default confirmation key to any desired, like a semicolon or the pound symbol. So you can customize it uh, to your choice. And you can also customize the pop-up contents. So if you don't want the auto text, you can also choose the description. And let's show it here, UTZ. And now we, we don't have the short form displayed, but just the expansion. And if you hit the confirmation key, it will be expanded.